Hey there, good people. Welcome. So, I'm filming in my kitchen. I don't know how the sound is going to be, so please excuse any noise. I but you all requested a homeware haul, and so I'm going to share that with you today. This is not home decor. This is homeware. So, I'm going to share with you a bunch of kitchen stuff I bought to make my kitchen more organized, to make my living easier. Uh, and and some things haven't arrived, so it just is what it is. It's gonna seem kind of random, but this is mostly kitchen stuff, so that brings it all together. So we're gonna start with this bowl. Um, this is a acquisition from a black artisan. He's a ceramicist, and I just love it. I told you guys I want to film my home with black art, like products from black artists and artisans, and. This artist's name is Dwayne Saki, and I just love the design on this bowl. I don't know if I can do this without dumping the lemons, but this is just sitting perfectly on my counter, and it's just the vibe I really wanted, and I, I love it. I absolutely adore it. It's perfect for holding fruit and just adding an element of decor to my kitchen, so that's like the only decor. Then from Target, I purchased this soap dispenser set to sit um, at my sink. This is my hand soap method uh, hand soap gel, gel hand wash in sweet water. And then this is my cleaner um, dish soap, I should say. This is the method clean day dish soap. Um, and this is like the original scent. Honeysuckle, I think it is. And this just sits right at my sink. It's just a really aesthetically pleasing way to um, house, you know, the things you need, like hand soap and dish soap. And it's like inexpensive at Target and just looks amazing. Another thing that sits on my uh, sink is this over the sink drying rack. It's, um, I believe, steel or chrome one of them and it is perfect because i don't use a lot of dishes by myself so i don't really need to use my dishwasher i just wash and dry my dishes and put it on this drying rack over my sink um after every meal and it just works absolutely beautifully because i just you know i'm using like a couple dishes every meal i don't need like to to leave dirty dishes in my dishwasher so that's an easy thing to do. And then as far as like cleaning my dishes, I like to use the Casa Bella Kind sponges and these are uh, plant-based scrubbers. So they're better for the um, environment. And I love the Casa Bella brand. You can get it at Target. And these are just the sponges I buy to clean my dishes. I also buy microfiber sponges for my Casa Bella for cleaning my um, counters on a daily basis, for cleaning my shower and all that. And these are washable. I can either wash them in the dishwasher or the washing machine. I like that these are washable, washable, rewashable, so I'm not contributing to killing too much of the environment. And I'll show you more about that. And then sitting beside my sink is this thing from Target. It just spoke to me. <laughs> and. This is from the, I kept the tag on there, the Hearth and Hand collection. This is a hand towel stand. And this is perfect because I can put a hand towel here. Oh, maybe not. I could put a hand towel here and then I could put a cleaning, like a microfiber towel here. And it still looks really, really aesthetically pleasing um, beside my sink, but it's also very, very functional. This is definitely one of those purchases that Target just told me I needed. Not necessarily one I went in there for, but it's serving me super well, super well. And then I have a bunch of cleaning stuff, so I'll just tell you that. Um, again, this is Casa Bella. This is the loop sponge brush. This is dishwasher safe, so I could just throw it in there and rewash it, you know, to use it again and again. But the goal is to have less single use things, right? And I love using this to clean like wine glasses and um, bottles and things and more eco-friendly way. More um, sustainable cleaning. Uh, Casa Bella has their own line of um, microfiber cloths at Target. 
So this is the window version, and I'm so glad I'm doing this so that I can actually use them. But this is for glass and things. Um, these are just regular microfiber cloths. It says this, this one is for the bathroom, and that's because it's got like like a rough side and a non-rough side. But I mean, these are kind of multi-purpose. Use them for whatever. And then these are the all-purpose microfiber cloths. And again, it's just like a rough side and a smooth side to the cloths. But um, these are all scratch free and you can reuse them. You just wash them in the machine and the washing machine and you can reuse them. Then when I say you have to use something in particular to wash microfiber, you have to, um, in order to keep the plastic out of your wash, out of the water, um, it's good to use a guppy bag and you just put all your microfiber things in here and wash it in here and this kind of filters out what you need to um filter out it actually says stop micro um waste and um i'll list where you can get this but i will just throw all my microfiber cloths and things in here and wash them in the washing machine so that i'm doing what's intended right you get rid of the single use right with the microfiber cloths but you could still hurt the environment by just kind of washing them all willy-nilly so guppy friend washing bag is what you need you can get these at rei um if there's one in your area or you can get it online i'll link it like i said and then my favorite gloves uh cleaning gloves are also by casa bella i really like casa bella um i first discovered the brand um at the container store and i've just kind of continued to use it since these are great i like to get medium i, I prefer medium to small but they only had small because I don't want them to be too tight. These are really tight on the hands. Um, but these are great for washing and they last a while. That's the goal, right? And I'm gonna try to keep cleaning. So this is also a, a flexible microfiber hand duster. And I love these for just cleaning on top of like uh, my buffet or like a media console, just like easy daily cleaning. And then you could take this off and wash it in the washing machine again. Casa Bella is just a company I turn to for microfiber things or more eco-friendly cleaning options. And I get all of this from either Target or Walmart. So then a few like kitchen essentials um, or cooking essentials. I got a green saver. This is to save your produce. This is great for all produce. I like to put lettuce in here, fruit, whatever, to keep it preserved in the refrigerator. Um, basically this stops like all the gases that make your fruit and, and veggies go bad faster and when you live alone when you're single that can happen like before you can use it up so this is clutch to stop that from happening and i needed a new strainer i love this one from oxo good grips i love oxo good grips for like plastic that is gonna last so you're not just like throwing it out all the time this is great a great strainer i really like it and then i also got a few measuring cups from oxo I mean, glass measuring cups are good. I have one, but they get really heavy and um, it, it, more. But this, as long as you care for them, can last for a very long time. I got the one cup version, and I think this is the two cup version. And then I have a glass four cup um, measuring cup. Also for the kitchen sink, I got this sim simple human sink caddy. This is um, stainless steel and it has a suction cup situation. So this is where I'm housing my um, like cleaning brush, which I haven't shown you yet, and my sponges and things. And it's really easy to clean. It like really comes apart and stuff. So I love this. And since it's stainless steel, it's not gonna rust on you or anything. And this just suctions right onto the sink. So that's great. And then speaking of cleaning brushes, I got these brushes to clean like around the sink um, if I need to clean my black backsplash or anything like that. This is just, you know, instead of buying like a toothbrush, um, this has a scraper on it and everything to really get in every nook and cranny and just have a really clean space. And then this next one is definitely Target told me to buy it, but I got a few hand soap dispensers from Target from Grove Collective. I was like, this is probably more than I should spend, but I'm gonna do it. They are beautiful. They are um, glass and chrome, I think. Um, so it's a recyclable, durable spencer. 
dispenser for hand soap. Again, this is just the gel hand soap sweet water from Method. But in this like beautiful and sleek, I could have got the same thing I got for the sink, but these were just so pretty that I had to. <laughs> this is definitely a Target made me do it. But I have one of these in each bathroom. And I just was like excited to see Grove Co. at Target, even though, you know, I probably spent more than I needed to. But I was also just looking for glass hand soap dispensers um, that didn't have a bunch of plastic on them. And it does have a plastic um, spout. But other than that, this is like chrome and glass. That's about the best I could do at the store. And then I needed a good knife set. So I got the J.A. Hinkle's uh, International Classic three-piece knife set. Um, and I got, after doing a lot of research, it was either this or Global. And Global is a lot more. And Macy's was having a Mother's Day sale. So I just got these three knives. Um, it's just really high quality. This is stainless steel. Um, but it's not like staying to still all throughout like global like I feel like I would cut myself at global <laughs> And this is still a really good knife set that I got on sale um, I still want a Santoku knife so Santoku knife so I will get that but this pretty much gives me what I need in the way of like, Sharp cutting knives. I also needed some kitchen utensils I already had some of these but I got a set of um, like really aesthetically pleasing stainless steel kitchen utensils from Crate and Barrel. Unfortunately, most of it is back ordered. This is the only one that came, but I'll link all that I purchased and then I'll show you guys as I get them in the vlog. I have no idea when they'll come because Crate and Barrel will be playing games. But um, I also got a whisk. I think this one came from Bed Bath & Beyond. Yeah, this is the OXO Steel whisk. My sister has this and I was like, oh, why? I didn't even know I needed a better whisk. <laughs> And then tongs, um, just a good set of tongs, needed these. Again, a lot of what I had got integrated into my sister's house. And this, if you haven't seen my haul, my last haul, um, this is from a black artisan as well. This is a utensil holder. This is from my rice cooker. <laughs> and then last but not least from Walmart is this towel set and I actually got like four of each of these but I wanted to mention this because I, I think people sleep on the hotel style collection at Walmart it is exceptional okay it is really really good for a low price this is comparable to luxury products um, I know like a set of washcloths from restoration hardware will run you 60 to 100 dollars and this Walmart set is comparable for a lot less i also use the sheets from that collection i have two sets of sheets from that collection i've been using them for several years now walmart's hotel style collection is not something you should sleep on i got a set of washcloths hand towels and bath towels in white just because that's what i like but they come in several colors i have a white striped sheet set and a uh, gray sheet set for my bed but these are lux and those are lux they come the sheets come in like 400 to a thousand bread count the, straight, the sheets like stay out of stock, so get them when you can get them. It's like our guests at my sister's house freaking love these. We, we, I, like, we putting people on all the time. Don't sleep on these. Walmart got your back on this one. If you need a towel set or a sheet set, get the Walmart hotel style collection. You're getting a steal for the quality. And the last things are from the container store. Now I have absolutely no idea where my utensil holders went. Like I honestly, you know when you move, like just some things go and, and you have no idea where they went. And this is one of those things. So I went to the container store and I just decided to invest in a really, really good utensil holder. This is the expandable Acacia flatware organizer. I mean, if I'm gonna have nice flatware and like, nice knives and things it's like why not splurge and get something really good to put in my drawers this is expandable so i can put all my silverware here and some of my utensils that won't go into that utensil holder in here and then i also purchased an in drawer knife block because i really wanted one of those i've never had an in drawer version i've always had one on the counter and i prefer not to display my knives <laughs> um and so i got one that goes in your drawer knife block and this fits really nicely next to that i have a really wide drawer for my silverware and so this is perfect like it'll easily house my knives you just put them in between the cork um so these are like my cutting knives those four well three i'm gonna buy a santoko knife though 
uh, for sure. I'll link that below. <laughs> but this concludes everything from my haul. I bought other things, but that was a lot of stuff. I hope this wasn't boring. This is why I don't do hauls because I feel like I'm boring. Um, <laughs> but I hope this wasn't too boring. I will link everything below. If there's something that you think I'm missing, definitely let me know in the comments. I have a, a lot more on my um, Amazon list that I'm gonna buy over time. So if you guys like this, I will share more of my homeware stuff as it comes in. Um, and I'll definitely share decor if you guys want them if you want to watch them I will do tours as I finish a room um, But if you want to see like the day-to-day -day, The breakdown as stuff comes because I've already like shown some stuff in the vlog that's coming next week Then definitely watch the vlogs and that's it for this video So if you liked this video make sure you subscribe so we could see each other in the next one Bye